And before I read my speech, I, I bring you greetings from Her Excellency Governor Nakuru County, Susan Gihigan, who would have wished to be with us today, but she's actually committed somewhere and she was not able to come here. And she sent me to bring greetings to all of you. I hope you accept. And uh, because I may not capture in the, in the speech, we are proud of you. As the business community in Akuru County, we are proud of We are what we are because of you. And I want to assure you that our, our Excellency is very much concerned in one way or another in improving your business environment and business com community. I want to assure you that the government, the county government of Nakuru is fully with you. And then, let me repeat what I have said. We are what we are in Nakuru County because of you. We got a city status because of you. We could not have been having gone to Nakuru City without you. Without you, we can remove the city again. So we really thank you, and uh, I assure you that our, our maximum operation with you. So uh, it is my pleasure to be with you this evening as we mark this year's Nakuru Entrepreneur Awards here at the Nakuru Golf Club in Nakuru City. Allow me first to thank the organizers of this colorful event, which brings together entrepreneurs, chief executive officers, government officials, non-government organizations, representatives, members of the business community stakeholders, and associations of various persuasions. I am humbled by your presence and attendance to this function. Really humbled. Significantly, I want to acknowledge the founders of these annual awards, which celebrate the innovativeness, the ingenuity and enterprise of business people at all levels in Akuru. It is even more important to know that this is a locally driven initiative whose aim is to spark competitiveness, excellence, and innovativeness among our entrepreneurs. I trust that this award will work to galvanize our business community, our drivers of enterprises and skilled ones among us to go beyond the horizons of enterprises. The county government of Nakuru, led by Her Excellency Governor Susan Gihiga, has taken deliberate efforts to support enterprise development, especially the micro, small, and medium enterprises, that is MSMEs, and make them resilient to the global economy. First, through an executive order of February 2023, the Administration Directorates of Trade, Business Support and Industrialization Entrepreneurship and Cooperatives, and Public Participation and Citizen Engagement to create a structure to serve MSMEs even at world levels. With such a structure, the issues and concerns involving MSMEs are easily identified and addressed. Secondly, the County Assembly of Nakuru, the legislative arm of our government, has drafted, debated, and passed, a new, passed numerous bills that engender the development of MSMEs. Some of the bills cut across the various value chain products in agriculture, not forgetting the County Finance Act, which makes provision for fees and charges payable by business. We are alive to the fact that these legislations will require constant review to align them with the changing business trends, economy, and government preferences. Third, 
And the Kuru County government is undertaking business development services to MSMEs in the form of entrepreneurship training, business coaching, digital literacy, financial literacy, among others, through collaboration with various institutions. For instance, a recent memorandum of understanding with the Strathmore University will strengthen the capacity and ability of our administration to reach more MSMEs at the same time as it facilitates research and development and technology transfer. We are confident that this will also see the realization of small businesses development centers in our county. Availability of an access to cheap loans is critical to development of MSMEs. The Nakuru County government is now setting up the management boards for the county cooperative fund and the county enter enterprise fund through which will provide cheap loans to cooperatives to acquire machinery and new technologies. Through these initiatives, we will be able to provide small loans for small businesses without collateral with, uh, with the county government acting as a, current, as a current. It will further provide loans whose interest will be subsidized by the county government below the bank rates. Fifth, small businesses operated by the youth women and people of living with disabilities have a guaranteed share of county government businesses under the access to government procurement opportunities. Small businesses also benefit through framework contracting where those who do not need financial equipment, human resource and experience requirements for big works or supplies benefit. I'm glad to the Nakuru Entrepreneur Awards 2023, strive to set high standards for product and service delivery in Nakuru by recognizing and celebrating entrepreneurs who exemplify excellence. I'm also aware that the Nakuru Entrepreneur Awards aims to provide networking opportunities and foster learning experiences for young and aspiring entrepreneurs, empowering them to shape a brighter future for Nakuru. In conclusion, I want to assure the entrepreneurs in Nakuru County that we as a county government are determined to provide an enabling environment in which businesses thrive. We have paved the way through policies and legislations for you to succeed in your business initiatives. We have simplified business licensing regime to adopt a single business permit and done away with majority of charges that were discouraging the renewership. We hope this will spur more people, especially the youth, to join the renewership training. Thank you. May God bless you as you continue.